Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today I'm taking you along with me to one of my favorite thrift stores with a 30% off coupon and we are going to see what treasures we find. I'll be taking you through the aisles, sharing kind of in the moment what I find, what I put in my cart, more vlog style. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's head there now. I just pulled in to the thrift store and the parking lot is empty. So I'm kind of excited. I have never been here when it's not jam packed. So this is very exciting. <laughs> Somehow these are battery operated, but they look so real. I love these, it's so pretty. Find I have an order when I come to the thrift store. You'll have to let me know if you also kind of shop each aisle like a certain way. I always start with the candles and then I work my way down. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It's pretty. Over in the planter section, and I already see this. I think that is so pretty. And then the same thing with the glassware. I love to just kind of stand back and have a scan of the entire aisle and see if anything catches my eye. This is so pretty. How unique is this? It's priced at $3.99. McGee & Co. has something like this on their site right now for way more money, so frames are such a good thing to thrift.
have seen these all over the internet. An ice block maker and you can add different fruits and decor, like you can do flowers. It's a great price point. I love looking in the brass and silverware section. I have found some beautiful pieces. This looks like it is so old. It's $5.99. I already have one or else I would have gotten that. Let's clean that up and that is just such a beautiful piece. $3.99. Wow, that is so beautiful. $9.99. Never skip the home appliance section. I have found bread maker, ice cream maker, so many great things. You can find little random things too, like a breakfast sandwich maker, little mini grills, hot plates, cake pop makers. I have also have a popcorn maker from here as well, popcorn machine. So just a little tip, never skip this section. So I just hit the jackpot. I have a huge haul to share with you. So maybe grab a snack, a warm cup of coffee, and let's get started. So I'll start, I'm just gonna pull things out of the bag. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I have a mix of home stuff, accessories, and some clothing. Starting off with this now this is not real. It's like a knockoff of the Marc Jacobs tote bag. I loved the shape of it and the size of it. It's perfect for storing things in. We're doing some traveling this summer and this is perfect to bring on an airplane because it counts as a purse, but I can put like my smaller purse, my fanny pack inside of it and be able to travel with this as my purse. I'll likely wear it this way just because I prefer the kind of plain look of the bag, but it is so soft and really quite lovely. I love the gold detail. And this is the other side of it. Yeah, I just thought this was such a good find today. And this was only $11.99. Like I said at the beginning, I had a 30% off coupon today. So I saved quite a bit of money but I love this bag, so, so pretty. So happy with that. The next thing I found was this really nice pair of white denim shorts. I like the length of them. It's like a full, covers fully <laughs> of the back. I like the gold detail. And these were priced at $8.49 and I just don't have a pair of white denim so I thought I would grab these. The next item I found was this pair of soft mock shoes. 
These are in my size. These are so comfortable. What I do when I'm going to purchase shoes at the thrift store is I'll try them on and kind of wear them a little bit around the store just to see how they feel. I showed you in the clips of me thrifting. I did find a really nice pair of Steve Madden like platform sandals, but they were so uncomfortable. So I did go ahead and leave them behind, but I found these. I think they were five. Yeah, they were $5.49 and they are so comfortable. So I think these might be like my summer house shoes. I'll give them a really good clean and then be able to wear them. So these were a good find today. I love thrifting sunglasses and today I found these which are so cute. I love the detail here on the side of the sunglasses. These were only $3.99. Let me just double check. Yeah, $3.99 and aren't they fabulous? Like, I love them so much and can't believe that I found them today for only $3.99. So always check the accessory section. I had a little bit more time today, so I really, I think I was in there for like, what time is it? I was in there for about an hour and a half. So I went aisle by aisle. I was searching through clothing racks, accessories. I don't always do that. I mostly just make sure that I hit my favorite home decor aisles. But today I decided I have time. It's like I find it so relaxing and I really enjoy it. So I decided to take my time and I'm happy I did. So I'm very happy with those. And then I found this really pretty off-white blouse. It obviously needs a really good steam. And I mean in a wash, but <laughs> I just loved it. I'll put a clip of it here on me in the store. I have been really enjoying having like t-shirts like this just to like front tuck into jeans or to just put over like tank tops for like a little bit more coverage or if it's like a little bit chilly and when I was in Marshalls the other day I noticed that they have a lot of this style of shirts maybe it is coming back but I really do enjoy thrifting them this one was $9.99 and I really just love I loved the color it goes with everything I also loved the material and this is by the brand Max Studio. So not sure if it's expensive or not, but I really liked it. And then home decor. I could not pass this up. It reminds me of an anthropology vase that I have loved for so long. I'll put it here on the screen, but just could not justify buying it. I did think about DIYing it, but now I'm going to give this a little bit of a flip and make it look like this one and I'm really really excited I'm thinking I'm gonna use like a combination of baking soda and paint and then put some beautiful florals in it but I love this I can't believe I found it it was $7.99 so a little bit more expensive it is glass but I just think for summer with like beautiful florals it's going to look so beautiful on my dining table so I will be flipping that so stay tuned because I will share that I love to share how I style items that I thrift so definitely stay tuned for that portion of the video I love just showing you how you can take something that is quite beautiful on its own but you can really make it your own and be unique with it and creative and make it fit your style more so I try not to flip items that are vintage or old or like stoneware I try and be just respectful of those items they are so beautiful on their own and very classic but this is just it looks like just like a Michael's vase or something so I have no problem giving this a little bit of TLC and then the last thing I found is actually for my husband he is warming up to the idea of thrifting I had a comment a couple of videos ago um, because I had mentioned that I had gone thrifting with my family and someone asked how my husband felt about it he's come a long way I feel like I have been thrifting since my son was a baby so like 13 years ago so it's been a really long time so he's used to me finding things and you know bringing home all these gems but he could never get past like he said the stores had a smell I don't know I don't find it has a smell maybe I'm just used to it but he is getting used to the idea and he does enjoy coming along with me here and there but um yeah that's just a little side note on my husband but I did get him this really like I wish I knew the brand there's no original price on it these are so heavy duty but he did ask me to see if I could find any like 
pint glasses. I lost the word there for a second, but I did find him a pair of these really nice pint glasses, super heavy duty and something that he had asked for. So happy that I found these, but that is what I found today. It was such a good day to go thrifting. Now I'm going to go home and I'm going to give that vase, like I said, a little bit of a flip and I'll share that with you now. And then we can style it and use it in my home, which I hope gives you a burst of creativity. So let's head home now and do a little bit of DIYing together. Starting off with the DIY, I did want to apologize for my voice. I recently lost it, but I did want to share this video with you all this week. But I just used equal parts paint. I used a white that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and baking soda. And I applied two coats of that to the vase. Super simple technique that really does create beautiful texture on whatever it is that you're painting. I then just styled it on my mantle with some beautiful faux flowers that I purchased from Michaels a few years ago. I love a wildflower look. And I do think that this is comparable to the one from Anthropology, just for a fraction of the cost. I think for all around $6, I was able to create something that is so beautiful and fun and textured, and I really do love it. And it just goes to show you the power of thrifting, what you can do with these items, and how you can transform them to anything you want them to be. Thank you so much for watching. I am so grateful for every single one of you. Truly, I mean that. And I hope you have the most beautiful day. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video, which I hopefully will have a proper voice. Have a great one. Bye, everyone.